Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Praise God. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Prayer Program. I tell you one thing, we are excited to come into agreement and to pray with you. My name's Holden Hanley. I have the privilege and the honor of being with you all this morning. It's not just me, but we have all of our prayer ministers ready, filled up on the word, filled up in the spirit, and ready to come into agreement in faith with you. And right next to me is the man himself, Mr. Sergio. Sergio, you work in our ministerial relations, and you just got back from Juarez, Mexico. Yes, sir. We had a great time. We had a, a victory campaign in Juarez, Praise Mexico. God. You'll hear more about it, but this time it's all about praying for our Amen. partners and friends. Amen. Praise God it is. Sergio, thank you so much for being with us. In the aisle, we have the one and only Zuri. Zuri, how are you doing this morning? I am doing great this morning. So happy to be here and be able to serve all of our partners and friends. Just as you guys have said, we are here to connect with you this morning. All of our licensed prayer ministers are here to pray with you. Go ahead and call that number and connect with us. That number is 877-281-6297. Amen. Well, praise God. Yes, as Zuri said, 877-281-6297. Call in. I want to read a scripture and then we'll jump right into these prayer requests. James 5, verse 15, and then verse 16 says, the prayer of faith will save the sick. Listen, if there's anything that might not be in line, the prayer of faith, as we come into agreement under this corporate anointing, will give access, will give the Lord access into your life and he'll change any situation you need. And why is that? Verse 16 says that the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man, the Amplified says, makes tremendous power available, Glory. dynamic in its working. So through prayer, we're going to come into agreement and we're going to release a supply of dynamic, effectual power into your life surgery. What requests do we have? So we have Peggy from Charlotte, North Carolina for health and finances. God is your provider. Gladys from St. George. Thank you for checking in with us. Hey, call us 877-281-6297. We want to come alongside of you. We want to pray and God will answer. As we got Gladys from St. George healing for her husband. God is your healer. Judy, Peoria, Illinois, breakthrough in finances. God will provide for you. We have Deborah from Kirbyville. Breakthrough Finances, God will provide. He is your provider. And we have June from North Lake, Financial Breakthrough. What do you have on that side, Holden? Yes, sir. Uh, I have Lynette from Cadillac, believe in God for a friend, for favor and needs freedom. Well, right now, uh, Lynette, we're in total and complete agreement that the Lord, the anointing that sets people free is manifesting itself to, the, to your friend and that any burden is being removed and any yoke is being destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Francis from Calvert is believing God for breakthrough. We serve the God of the breakthrough. Amen. There's Glory. absolutely nothing that's too big for God to break through. So right now we pull down any stronghold that is causing it, to, that is standing and the God of the breakthrough is manifesting in your life. Susie from New Mexico needs uh, to quit smoking. She's coughing up blood. Well, Susie, right now we believe for total and complete healing. And that stronghold that's built up of smoking in your life right now, we pull it down according to 2 uh, second, second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Mary from Douglasville, Georgia, believing God for healing for her friend and healing and freedom for her daughter. Well, right now, we come into agreement. And Father, I thank you that it is your desire to set <laughs> people you. free. Father, I thank you that her daughter's, the eyes of thank her you, understanding Father. are being flooded with light and truth because your word says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So, Father, I thank you for freedom manifesting and for healing for herself and her body according to 1 Peter 2, 24 in Jesus' name. Zuri, what's going on over there in the aisle? Like we've been telling you guys this morning, we are here with our licensed prayer ministers. Holden has said it's not just him, it's not just Serge, it's not just myself here praying with you. It is the whole ministry-wide prayer licensed ministers coming to the word of faith, coming to that word of agreement to be able to provide you with the words that you need to hear this morning. I have Santa from Santana from Kentucky. She's wanting favor for a job. And then I have Elizabeth from Daytona Beach wanting favor for a home. We're telling you God is a God of prosperity. He has prosperity knows no limits. So right now we're praying that his 
favor goes before you and opens every door you need for that job, every door you need to have those finances for that new home. I have Anita from Mounds. She's believing for salvation for her son and a husband for her daughter. So right now we're sitting on Psalms 138, 8, where it says, I will perfect that, perfect that which concerns you. We're standing in agreement for your son's salvation and we're standing in agreement for the husband that your daughter is going to be receiving soon. We have Maxine from Arizona. She's wanting prayer for her heavy heart right now. So right, right now, God, we're sending your angels to give her that peace. We're setting an agreement according to your word, Father, in Exodus, where it talks about you giving her that rest that she needs and that spirit of enjoyment, that spirit of freedom that she needs right now this morning in Jesus' name. We want to remind you, if you can't get through, to call us back. We do want to hear from you. That number again is 877-281-6297. Back to you, Holden. Zuri, thank you so much. Sergio, I have a prayer request here, and every time I get a prayer request like this, yes, sir. this Acts chapter 10 leaps up in my heart. Hmm. The prayer request is Lillian uh, from Union Point, Georgia, household salvation and healing. If you remember Acts chapter 10, Peter comes to Cornelius and Cornelius says, we are all present before God to hear what he's commanded you to speak. And the, Peter begins to speak and the entire household was saved and the entire household was filled with the Holy Ghost. So today, right now, Lillian, we're coming into agreement that, a, that you're going to hear the word of the Lord and that you're going, you're, you and your entire household is going to be completely saved and filled to overflowing with the power of the Holy Ghost. I have Karen from Petal, believe in good... God for a good report from the doctor. Well, praise the Lord, we already have a good report and we're gonna believe God that the doctor's report is gonna match the report that we have, that you are healed and that you are, your, your body is perfectly whole in Jesus' name. I have Kim from Tennessee, sister needs healing from virus and the family needs peace and tests to be negative, including two-year-old grandson. We are in total and complete agreement with what Pastor George said and what Brother Copeland, that the spirit life behind COVID-19 has been stripped and render totally and completely helpless. And I'm going in agreement with you that those tests will come back negative. It's Cindy from Greensboro. Believe in God for continual guidance and direction for our president, his campaign and his reelection. We're in agreement with that. First Timothy chapter two. In fact, Sergio, let's come into agreement yes, and pray. Sir. First Timothy chapter two says that uh, Thank first you, of all, first of all, Lord, Thank Let you, your Father. requests be made known on behalf of all men for Thank kings you, and those that are in authority. So, yes, Lord, Father. we lift Thank up you. President Trump to you yes, and right his now. entire campaign. And we thank, thank you, you so much for wisdom and direction as he goes about this season and as he goes about what's next. And, thank Father, you, Heavenly, we Father. thank you so much that the thank Holy you, Spirit Father. is leading and guiding every decision that he thank makes you, in Father. Jesus' name. Here's the Anita from Chester. Believe in God for healing. She and her daughter favor for furniture to be delivered. Anita, you have favor that surrounds you like a shield, according to Psalms 512. Tap in and press into that favor. It's already yours. Lean on it, lay hold of it, and declare it because it's yours in Jesus' name. And you and your daughter are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus' name. Sergio. Now, Holden, we have a testimony here. Praise so, God. From Sharon from Salado. And it's saying, brothers heal tooth. You see, that's what's Amen. happening right now. The healing power of God is just going through all the nation. That's exactly all it. This, those Everybody that's calling in right now, they're connecting with us for the healing power of God. That's right. So why don't you call us, 877-281-6297. And we have another one here. We have breakthrough of healing and finances. Well, you know what? God is the God of breakthrough in every area of your life. So we call that done. Brenda Amen. from Livingston Healing, the healing power of God is in, in there right now. Yvette from Chanute, uh, sister, son, headache, family healing. We call that done right Amen. now in the name of Jesus. And we have a, oh, another one, a good testimony. Good report on urinalysis and finances. You see, that's what we do right now. Praise we God. come in agreement with you. We stand alongside of you and we pray and we believe and God will come through because that's the God we serve. So Amen. call us 877-281-6297. Hold it. Sergio, there's power when people come together in agreement. Isn't that what Pastor Terry says? Yeah, Pastor Terry says it all the time. There's something about it when people who come to get, who know how yes, to sir. use their faith yes, come together and pray. And we get that because Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 and 20 says that when two or more come together in agreement, listen, there's one, I'm one, Sergio's two, Zuri's three. We have a multitude of prayer ministers. We have hundreds and hundreds of people watching right now. When you call in, you have a tsunami of faith. You have a tsunami of prayer. You have a tsunami of a supply. Come 
coming together in agreement for whatever you're believing for. And when two or more gather together in agreement, Jesus is there and the I am shows on the scene. This I am is the one who split the Red Sea and delivered Israel, who was a pillar of fire by night and a cloud of smoke by day. Listen, when the I am shows up, healing shows up. When the I am shows up, prosperity shows up. When the I am shows up, the blessing shows up. So whatever you're believing for, there's nothing that the corporate anointing and the corporate supply and the prayer prayed in faith can overcome. And we're believing and we're expecting just that today. Suri, what's going on over there in the aisle? Here in my handhold, and I have a prayer request that I want you and Sergio to, to unite your faith with me about. I have Sharon in Vicksburg. Her daughter is currently in the hospital and the doctors are trying to predict that she's having a miscarriage and they're wanting to terminate the pregnancy. Well, right now we're declaring life upon, uh, upon her daughter and this baby. We're believing in Psalms 127 where it says children are the Lord's heritage. That way the enemy has no control over her life, no control over her baby. And we're standing in an agreement that this baby is going to be born with health, with all, all of its correct functions, and that the doctors are going to be able to help her keep this baby. So right now we're standing in protection over her life and declaring Psalms 91 upon her in Jesus' name. I have also Janelle from Dundalk. Uh, she's wanting protection and deliverance for her neighborhood. So right now, Lord, we go before you asking you for the life of everyone in this neighborhood. Protection, Father God. Psalms 91 again, Father God, we are pleading the blood. Your protection goes before all of them, Lord, and no enemy, no weapon formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' name. I have Marjorie from Los Angeles. She's wanting a prayer for her son who has sickle cell. Well, we're standing on Matthew 4, 23, where it says he bore every sickness, every disease, and we're declaring that life upon you in Jesus' mighty name. I have Stephanie from Georgia. Uh, she's wanting good health and a godly mate. So right now we're sitting in the word of God in Luke 11. Ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be open in Jesus name. And then lastly here I have David from Oklahoma. He has several family members that have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Well, right now we're believing and staying in the word of God that you have been redeemed from the curse. Galatians 3 says you have been redeemed and you have been created in his image and in his image, there is no COVID-19. So right now, Father, we thank you for these lives and we thank you for the miracles that you're working continuously in Jesus name. Back to you, Holden. Praise God. Thank you so much, Zuri. Uh, you're a blessing. Here's Julia from fam family members needs to standing in agreement for favor and healing. Listen, we said it earlier. And I want to say it again. I just want to remind you, you're surrounded with the favor of God. You're absolutely covered and surrounded from head to toe, top to bottom, all the way around with the favor of God. So whatever you're believing that you need favor in a particular situation, just you have the favor of the Lord Jesus Christ operating and working in your favor. I have Janice from Sparks, believing God for family healing of COVID. I like what Zuri just said. You're created in the image of the Lord Jesus Christ in the image of the Lord Jesus Christ is a healed image. So right now we lay hold of whatever virus Thank is trying know. to trespass in Janice's body and we plead the blood of Jesus and we command anything that is not in line with this blood to get back and go back across that bloodline in Jesus name. James from Austin, believe in God for healing for complications of cataract surgery. Right now we come into agreement, Father, we lift up this and whatever complications there may be, we stand on the word that says in Psalms 103, 103 verse three that says you forgive us of all of our and you heal us of all of our diseases. That would include these complications of cataracts in Jesus' name. Beverly from Fort Pierce, believe in God for healing for her shoulder. Listen, Beverly, I want you to lay your hands on your shoulder as I lay my hands on this as my point of contact. And I want you to try to do something you couldn't do before as we pray. Move it, do something, and use exercise your faith. Exercise your faith. The Bible says faith without corresponding actions is dead. So we don't want to operate in dead faith. We want to operate in alive, living, effectual faith. So Father, right now, I thank you and I command any pain and any soreness to leave right now from, Jan from Beverly's shoulder in Jesus' name and that that shoulder operates exactly how you designed it to operate in the name of Jesus. Annette from North Carolina, protection and healing for her family. We plead the 91st Psalms and we send forth angels to protect your family. Listen guys, call us 877-281-6297 for our prayer request. But not only that, we want to hear your testimonies. We want to hear the testimonies as you call in and these prayers are being answered because the Bible says that we overcome by what? The blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. What testimonies do is it stirs up faith. It stirs up courage that if God did it for that person's surgery, oh bless God, Amen. he'll do it for me. Absolutely. Amen. Hey, Brother Holden, in this week's product, let not your heart be troubled. It's a free digital download. Okay, so go ahead and go to govictory.com forward slash morning prayer. In these times of trouble, God is 
Jesus said to his disciples, have faith in God. So you download, download it, read it, meditate it, put it in your spirit, and you'll see how God will work on that. I've Amen. got a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of, uh, uh, I got lost here. <laughs> Pay a request. Well, you know, Amen. I just got, just got back from Mexico. Amen. We got Eula from Rayford, total knee replacement. Well, God is your healer. Let's go healing for son. Rebecca, Rio Rancho, thank you for calling us. We appreciate that. And he's healed, he's whole, because God is your healer. We got a Katerina from Texas. Marriage relationship needs strengthening. Listen, God is a God that restores all kinds of things. He restores lives, marriages, uh, anything that needs to be restored, he'll do it. So why don't you call us right now, 877-281-6297. Tell your friends, tell your family members to call. This is the time for you. Hold it. Praise God. Hey, everybody. I want you guys to watch this clip from Pastor Terry as she talks about the purpose and the power of gathering together under the corporate anointing and the power of the name of Jesus. Watch this and we'll be right back. There's something about it when there are people who call his name in faith, who call his name knowing who he is, call his name believing who he is, call his name with expectation, call his name with hope, with call his name with faith. We call on him, things happen, mountains move, world shakes, people are healed, deliverance come, nations change, glory to God. Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, glory to God, a hope of our salvation, our deliverer, our helper, our, our, our peace, our shepherd, our blessing, our provider, and our soon coming king, glory my goodness, if that doesn't light you on fire, as Brother Copeland <laughs> says, your wood's wet. Jesus, our soon coming team. Jesus, our healer. Jesus, our deliverer. deliverer. Pastor Terry says that the name of Jesus has supreme effectiveness in all areas of prayer. So whatever you're believing for, remember that the name of Jesus is above your situation. It's above sickness. It's above poverty. It's above the curse. And everything has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. So Rebecca from Paris, believe in God for healing, whatever you're going through in your body has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. Bye from Kansas City, believe in God for 14 year old, uh, old mono uh, paralyzed, believing for complete healing. Listen, that mono and that paralysis has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. And we speak health and we speak total and complete healing and restoration in the name of Jesus. Brenda from Georgia, uh, Shantae's finances to be restored. Restored. Listen, he's the God who meets all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. There's the name. Your needs are met by the name of Jesus. Barb from Las Cruz, her husband needs protection, peace, and healing. We're in agreement that that 91st Psalm is totally and completely in effect in your life and we execute it. And his name is like a strong tower to you. Mm. Here's uh, Eva Mech from McAllen, believe in God for blood pressure to be normalized. Well, whatever your blood pressure numbers are, we command them in the name of Jesus to normalize and stabilize and to remain there in the name of Jesus right now. Call us 877-281-6297. We want to hear your requests and we want to hear your testimonies. And right now we're going to go to Zuri over in the aisle. Zuri, what's it like over there in the aisle? Holden, there is such an anointing to pray this morning. I know it's going to pray every morning here in this ministry. We're here with our prayer ministers. You are feeling the power of agreement. You're feeling all these prayers filled with faith, all the words of God coming through. And you know, it's just exciting to see how our prayer ministers are able to connect with all of our partners and friends and just pray for them. A lot of people may not even know how to pray. And this, this line this morning, this number that we provide for you is a way for you to contact us, for us to pray with you in agreement according to the word of God. Like Holden said, that number again is 877-281-6297. Connect with us. We do want to pray with you. We do want to give you words of encouragement this morning. I have Jewel from Blythewood. Uh, she's believing for a godly mate. So, you know, that's impressing on me this morning. We've had several come through for believing for godly made, believing for a partner. So I want to go ahead and lift up those prayers right now to God. And we're standing in 1 John where it says, um, 
a come in confidence upon the Lord. Come in confidence according to his will. He'll be able to provide for you. His word says two are better than one. So right now we're coming to agreement that all of you who are needing a godly mate, all of you who are believing for that healthy partner, that godly partner, he's providing that for you this morning in Jesus name. We have Jeanette from Calhoun. She's wanting favor and wisdom. And then I also have here Sheldrin from Harrisburg wanting favor and healing for his family. So right now we thank you Lord right now that you're providing that healing, that favor, Lord Jesus. You're a God who works miracles and a God who provides so we're saying in agreement to your word, Lord Jesus, that you are working to provide every single day. I have Yvonne from Mobile. She's wanting complete restoration and finances. Glinda from Kentucky. She's wanting finances and prosperity to come into her home. I have Chester from Missouri. She wants financial, uh, he wants financial breakthrough. And then I have Betty from Camden wanting financial breakthrough and a better relationship with Jesus. As Holden has said, God will provide every single one and meet every single one of your needs. Right now, we're just asking you to call that number, come into agreement, let us pray with you and declare the word of God over your life this morning. Again, that number is 877-281-6297. If you can't get through, call us back. We do want to hear from you. Back to you, Sergio. Well, thank you. Well, last night while I was praying, I was asking God, God, what word do we have for the people that are going to be watching our program? And this is what he said, Jeremiah 33, 6. And there's different versions, but this is the one that I like. I will bring health and healing I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant Praise peace God. and security in all of their lives. So like this says, don't let your heart be troubled. God is on your side. Amen. So we got several uh, requests here. We got Josie from New Mexico, healing for her brother. But I want, I want to read this. Before. I, I don't want this to, like, you know, to put it on the side. So we got a, a, somebody who called on Monday. And she was praying for her sister who was in the hospital with COVID-19 diagnosis. After the prayer, her sister miraculously Praise recovered. God. And today she is home and she's healthy. Glory, Glory to God. Glory to the Lord. That's See, amazing. That's our God. You know, that's what he does. He heals Amen. people. That's right. You know, he's still the same. A lot of people say, well, there's no healing anymore. Hey, there's you tell proof. her. You talk, you talk to uh, Margaret from Oklahoma. Listen, call us. God is here. We're praying 877 281 Six two nine seven. Holden. That's right. Sergio, I have a testimony too. Phyllis from Athens, she prayed with us in July for her husband and son. They had a disease with cancer in their blood. So this was in July. We just got this testimony today at 846 AM. Now they are both cancer free. Glory. That's Jesus. <laughs> the G name of Jesus is above the name of cancer. So whatever cancer, if you have cancer right now, I just t feel this strongly in my, my spirit. You, if you have cancer right now and you're believing for cancer, I want you to lay hold of this testimony and lay hold of the word of God that says, by his stripes, you were healed. The name of Jesus is greater than the name of cancer and cancer has to bow its knee to that name. And I want you to lay hold of it. And as Sister Gloria says, faith takes it. So right now, take it by faith and be in agreement with what the Word says and be in agreement with the report that the Word gives, which says you are healed. And I, I'm, I, I'm telling you, this is powerful. This is strong. We're Albert from De, uh, from Deschisny, if I said that right, believing God for healing for heart issues, has a pacemaker and a hernia. Well, right now, Albert, we're in total and complete agreement that you're healed from the crown of your head and to the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus. Francis from Roxborough, believing God for healing and wisdom. Vanetta from Dunblack, believing God for family restoration and healing. Frankie from Greenville, believing for healing for her and salvation for her family. Right now, we lift up the families Thanks. to you, Lord. We lift up all the families to you. you Father, Father, this strategy of the enemy to attack the family unit right no now, we curse and we no expose more. it in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for no healthy more. and whole families. I thank you for children that are taught up in the ways of the Lord by their parents. And I thank you for parents that are raising their children, you, raising their children in the ways and the admonition you, of the Lord. Father. And Father, I thank you that we have a faith filled, Holy Spirit filled, you, blessing filled households from the East Coast to the West and from thank the you, uh, from border to border in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, guys, we have five more minutes on the show, but just because we go off the air doesn't mean our prayer ministers go home. No, they're here all day. So you can call that number and get to one of our trained, qualified prayer ministers who know how to stand in agreement and believe God with you. And before we go um, off the air, I want to go to Zuri one last time. Zuri, what's going on over there in the aisle? 
Holden here. My hand, I have Alicia from North Carolina. She's believing for her kidneys to be healed. I have Rosalie from Grand Prairie. She, Grand Prairie believing for her healing of knees and ability to walk. So right now, we thank you, Lord, for the lives of these two people. We're believing in what Holden said, that you bore every sickness, you bore every disease, and your word said you lay it all, all on the cross so that we may have that healing and that prosperity in Jesus' name. And then I have Dina from Benton. She's wanting um, healing of her brain. Um, that she is needing surgery. So right now, Lord, we're asking for your protection and your deliverance upon her body, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for continuing to providing her that life, Lord Jesus, that you have purpose for her every single day. Back to you, Holden. Praise the Lord. Zuri, go ahead and come on over here and let's end out the program with you over here. We have just under four minutes and I just want to remind you guys to join us tonight for our EMIC service as we continue to pray for America with Pastor Terry. That's tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central. And join us for church this Sunday uh, as we, October 25th, we have two services, one at 10 a.m., one at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, one at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Central Time. And that's with we're blessed and privileged to have Brother Mark and Sister Trina Hankins with us. It's sure to be a marvelous time. It makes me just want to go ha 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 right now, <laughs> doesn't Amen, it? Right. The joy of the Lord is going to be there. It's going to be absolutely marvelous. And join us for America Stands uh, as and Flashpoint tomorrow night as we cover the final presidential debate. Uh, that's tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time. At, and watch the presidential coverage in the spirit of Faith. Guys, we've had a lot of prayer requests today. A lot of testimonies. A lot of testimonies. Goodness. And all these, Alexa, who, I forgot who started at Zuri, but somebody started calling these prayer requests future testimonies. And I'm in agreement that's what they with are. that. That's, These that's are what they are. Testimony. So we're going to pray and we're going to come into agreement and we're going to believe God for every single prayer request that we pray today to be manifest in your life, whether that's healing, whether that's uh, deliverance, whether that's freedom, whether that's uh, prosperity. So Adelie from Bridgeport, believing for healing in her body, we're in agreement with you that your body's totally and completely healed. Hazel, healing from, uh, uh, healing from, um, healing, believe in God for that and for healing for Hazel. We're in agreement for that in the name of Jesus. You also have a testimony that you tested negative for COVID-19. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, this, this, this disease is going away. That's right. It's it gone. It's, it's gone. It's, it's actually gone. It's gone. In the eyes of God, it's, it's gone. gone. Amen. Right? Sergio, why don't you read a few more prayer requests before so we, we go. So we got a uh, Cassandra from Cortland, Missouri, healing for her cousin. We got a uh, Crystal from West Palm Beach. Thank you, Crystal, for check for calling us financial break, breakthrough. We believe that God's going to provide everything you need. We got Sasha from Mesa healing for a single parent wants a husband. Well, you know what? God provides everything, right? Amen. A husband or a wife, whatever that is, God's going to take care of all your needs. Amen. I want to go out real quick in a testimony. I have Della from Bedford. She has been praying for her daughter's relationship. And praise, praise the Lord, he has, he has delivered her relationship for her family, and they are speaking to each other again, and the relationship wow. is working again in Jesus' praise name. Praise God. There's that family restoration right. coming together. So, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Thank we you. lift up all of these prayer requests to you. Thank we you. lift them up and we magnify you in the thank name of you, Jesus. Yes. And we thank you so much for the corporate supply. Thank you, we Heavenly thank Father. you so much for the corporate anointing. We thank you so much that you're a thank healing you. God. We thank you so much thank that you're a delivering God. We thank you so much thank that you're a healing God. We thank you so much that you're a prospering God. We thank you so much that you're a God that sets people free. We thank, thank you so much that your name has superior authority above everything. Thank you, we Father. thank you that your name, that you're at your name, everything has thank to bow and we glorify your name and we call every single one of these prayer requests done in the name of Jesus. We call every single one of these prayer requests done in the name of Jesus. And as Zuri prayed earlier from Psalms, you are perfecting that which concerns them. And we thank you for it and we praise you for it in the name of Jesus. Hey guys, it's Holden, Sergio, and Zuri here saying have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Join us tonight as we pray for America with Pastor Terry. Remember that we love you. God loves you and Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord.